Hello guys, I hope you're doing well. So today we have yet another mechanized assault video from the Ukrainian side. The obvious reason for so many mechanized assault videos currently is that this is one of the primary ways this war is fought, especially in the eastern parts of Ukraine. This is due to the natures of the terrain and the disadvantage that comes with it for infantry, who is in the end pretty much needed to secure and hold area and territory so you don't have to be a masterclass tactician to know that having infantry move across such open field without proper cover is well close to madness i would say because especially with today's modern day spotting abilities through drones etc it is pretty dangerous and nearly impossible to effectively close in on the enemy in such terrain as you already could see in the video, the assault was conducted by a Ukrainian tank and uh, a BMP with mounted infantry on it. The Russians were, again, like usual, holding their positions inside a forest protection zone. These are the small wooded areas next to the open fields. I believe they were set up because of the wind that goes through this area so they can effectively block the wind. And they are also used for cover and concealment in this war. The men in this video are part of the 56th Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces. And there was a similar video uploaded here on this channel a few days ago showing a similar assault on the Russian trench. But this time this assault has a little different outcome than the last one or the outcome in the last one wasn't pretty much shared probably I would say. So here it's interesting to see what will happen during this assault. So here the tank again moved pretty close to the Russian trenches, driving even above on it and engaging it from point blank range. This is a common tactic used by Ukrainian forces in this war and I believe pretty much was taught to them, teach to them to be utilized in such situations. The tank is a huge factor in this battle right now because of the psychological effects alone. Like if the defenders lack proper anti-tank capabilities, what they most likely should have lacked, otherwise the tank would have been engaged. They are pretty much pinned down, overwhelmed and not able to defend themselves. Also, I would say they don't even are willing to defend themselves anymore in such a situation. The tank is actively putting pressure on the enemy while relieving pressure from its own friendly infantry forces because right now in this situation the tank is an active threat that is noticed and experienced by the Russian defenders who cannot focus themselves on the other danger moving towards them, the infantry. Of course the tank doesn't have to be so close to this trench to effectively engage it with its cannon but as said, the psychological factor plays also a big role here because if the tank would be further away, like 500 meters, 600 meters or even perhaps 1000 meters behind concealment that is not seen, this active danger turns into an abstract danger for the defenders and they will be more likely to stick their head out and engage the Ukrainian soldiers who then are exposed to small arms fire. So having it so close to this trench really pins them down. Of course, the tank is as deadly on 1000 meters as it is as on 50 meters. Perhaps it's even deadlier if it's a clear line of sight. But still, it changes or it can change the perception of the actual threat for the soldiers. Like there is this story from this Canadian sniper guy Wally who was in Ukraine and he had like two of his comrades being killed by a tank like 2000 meters away because of their wrong perception of the situation. So I don't remember where it was. It was an interview somewhere or in a live stream. And he was basically telling that uh, they knew the tank was there and still the two guys left the trench, looked around and they even smoked a cigarette and the cigarette gave away their position and they met some tank shells immediately. Yeah, this wouldn't have happened if the tank would have like charged towards them or would 
be like 10 meters in front of them because of the threat value you assign to this tank in this situation. That's it for the video guys. This were really all just my thoughts I had in mind when watching this clip. It was pretty interesting to see how this psychological effect manifests during combat, especially through the surrendering of the Russian soldiers. If you like this video and especially the way I do this content right now, let me know through a like and a comment. You're also invited to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Please make sure to hit the bell as well and enable notifications for this channel so you will not miss any uploads. And for the ones who can or are willing to support this channel further, you can do so by buying me a simple coffee. The link is in the description. This way you can show your appreciation for the content and this definitely motivates me to do a lot more like this. Thank you.